Hi, I am Lalit Vasist. In this video, we will understand the principle of conservation of angular momentum with the help of two different interesting experiments. Let's perform these experiments first, then I will explain you the science behind it. Here is the first experiment to demonstrate the principle of conservation of angular momentum. First, climb on this central circular platform and hold the handle. Now push the leg against the fixed outer platform to give yourself a spin. Now observe carefully that when you lean towards the handle, the spin speed increases and on leaning outwards, the spin speed decreases. Now repeat the same experiment several times and observe how the speed of rotation changes. Now before explaining the science behind it, let me show you one more experiment based on the same principle of conservation of angular momentum. First sit on the chair and push the weights away at your arm lengths and hold them. Now take help of your friend and ask him or her to give you a turn gently. Now observe that your speed of rotation increases as you bring both the weights close to you while rotating. And when you push away the weights, the rotation speed decreases. So these are the two experiments that explain the principle of conservation of angular momentum. Now we will understand the science that explains it. According to the principle of conservation of angular momentum, the angular momentum of a rotating object remains constant under ideal conditions. Angular momentum is given as the product of moment of inertia denoted by I and angular speed omega. It's given by the formula I into omega is equal to constant. Moment of inertia is the product of the mass and square of its perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. So when the distance of the body decreases from the axis of rotation, its moment of inertia decreases. But according to the principle of conservation of angular momentum, the product of moment of inertia and the angular speed must be constant. So to compensate for this decrease in moment of inertia, the angular speed of the body increases. Just opposite of this happens when we move away from the axis of rotation. In this case, the moment of inertia increases as the distance of the body increases from the axis of rotation. So to keep the product of moment of inertia and angular speed constant according to the conservation of angular momentum, the speed of rotation decreases. This same thing happens in the second experiment as the weights that is mass is pushed away from the axis of rotation. Its moment of inertia increases. So the angular speed is decreased and you spin slower. And opposite of it happens when the weights are pulled towards your body that is closer to the axis of rotation. So did you understand the concept of angular momentum conservation? Friends, if you liked the video then please like and share it with others. And for more such videos you can subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. Thank you for watching the video. See you soon in the next video. Till then bye bye and take care.